Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. Today we talk about the famous Italian charcuterie made out of beef, the brezaola. Get a piece of eye of round beef from your butcher, tell him you are doing your own charcuterie, he will become your friend. My piece is 1 kilo 960 grams and it comes from the famous local breed, Charolais. The EQ curing method now is 4% of sea salt, 2% of cane sugar, and 1% of anise seed, thyme from the garden, and black pepper. There are many possibilities in terms of spices, and we could also reduce the salt to 3.5%, which we'll start doing in the next videos. We mix well our ingredients and we're gonna gently spread all over our meat equally, not forgetting any side. We place our piece in our bag to vacuum seal it. Don't leave any of our mix on the tray. Make sure it is properly sealed and check it every other day. So, our beef has a diameter of 14 cm. I divide it by 2 and I add 1, that makes 8. So, we will leave our bag at least 8 days in the fridge to allow the salt to penetrate and reach the center. I will leave even 10 days on the grill at the bottom of my fridge, turning it over every day or so. Let's move on directly to the drying part, since Brezaola is rarely smoked in Italy. Did you see this lovely white flora that develops after two weeks in my cellar with around 12 degrees Celsius and 65% of humidity? I check its weight every week and after six weeks it has lost 40% to reach 1184 grams. Look at this magnificent white color. Let's taste it now. Okay, let's get it again and check your loss. I always write it down in my book to have some references for the next ones. So in total, it took nine weeks to transform a piece of beef into a beautiful brezaola. It is only my second time, so I can't wait to check it out. As you see, it's really easy to make it at home. There is no need of smoking in case you live in an apartment or during summer when it's too warm to do so. Change from pork meat since it's beef and it's one of the leanest charcuterie you can find and it's full of protein. Now it's your turn to try and leave me a comment if I convinced you. Whoa, the color is really amazing inside. It is dark red like Bordeaux color. It's quite homogeneous, with just a little crusting on the sides, probably because my cellar is too ventilated and not humid enough. It is very flavorsome and tender. It's a mix between the power of the beef taste and the freshness of our mix of anise seeds and thyme. Delicious. As a carpaccio with a drizzle of olive oil in your charcuterie board or with raclette cheese, perfecto. This will pair greatly with a white wine from Alto Adige in North Italy. And to really harmonize the dryness and to reduce this crust, I will vacuum seal it for another two, three weeks. It's also the best way to preserve the meat. Thank you for watching this video. Give us a like if you enjoy it. Feel free to share and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.